This is part five of the demo for building a UML class model. I'm Michael Blaha. So in the prior parts, we found tentative classes, we found tentative associations, we found tentative generalizations. Now we're going to start refining the model. So this is uh, the model where we left off at the end of part four. So one issue with this model right off the bat is it's sloppy in terms of distinguishing between library patron and library card. A uh, library patron has many library cards. A library card refers to one library patron, but a patron doesn't borrow a library item. I mean, the card is used to borrow the item. If you walk into the library and you scan the card and you check out books and other items, it happens via library card. So it's not good enough just to know which person uh, borrowed the library item. We also have to know which card that person used because the person could have multiple cards. So this borrows association here goes to card. Okay, so we just did that one. Okay, here's another problem. You can see here a card is used to borrow many library items. A library item let me just clean, I'm going to clean up the layout a little bit, just a little bit here as we go also. Uh, let's see, align centers vertically. So here, if we look at this one, a uh, library card can borrow many items, and items can be borrowed by many library cards. Well, that's also not quite right, because... Um, say I'm a library patron and I'm using my card. I just have one card. I can go into the library and borrow a book and I can return it. And then next month I could go in and borrow that exact same book again. So this only permits the combination to happen once and the combination could happen many times. So what we really need to do is take this association and promote it to a class. And we're going to call that class checkout. So I'm adding that checkout to the model now. So a library item can be subject to many checkouts. A checkout can concern many library items. And a library card, of course, can be used for many checkouts. And a checkout um, concerns one library card. And you can see here the layout's getting a little messy. I'm not going to do anything about it just yet. And as we, in the next a subsequent part, we'll uh, clean that up. But now I just want to kind of get the information in there. So you can see that uh, this is better now having the notion of a checkout. Now I want to go a little further yet here. <clears throat> you know, if you go to a library and you check out some items, I think I've seen some libraries where they hand you, I've seen some libraries where they hand you a piece of paper with the results of your transaction and they show the each item for the transaction. So I'd actually even like to uh, promote this this many to many association further and introduce the notion of a checkout item. Maybe that's not absolutely mandatory, but I think it'll be helpful because eventually we're going to be adding some attributes and, um, and operations to the model. So this kind of gives me a hook for that. So a library, so let's do this further. A library uh, checkout item concerns one library item. And a library item can be subject, participate in many checkouts and therefore many checkout items. And a checkout consists of many checkout items. And the checkout item participates in one checkout. Now, another reason I'm doing it this way is I'm thinking of like patterns of things that I've done in the past, models I've done in the past in my mind. And order entry, if you're doing orders, it's, it's often a common model where you have an order class and an order item class. And the order has many order items and the order items belong to one order. And that distinction is just a common one to make. So that's part of the reason I want to do it here too. So there's another 
uh, omission in this model I'd like to point out now. So we have pending requests. A library item can have many pending requests, and the pending request pertains to one library item, but who's making the pending request? It's, of course, a library patron who's making the pending request. And, and you know, the way the systems operate, is the request is happening via the library card. So let's add this. A library card may have many pending requests, and a request concerns one library card. So here we've made some revisions to the model, and we'll stop at this point in this part.